Hi, this is Doug from fcptalent.com and from your film. This is part of a series of videos we're making uh, to do with photography, but other people might find it interesting as well. Uh, this is a remake of an earlier tutorial we had called How to Make a Slideshow Faster Than You Can Watch It in Final Cut Pro 10. Uh, so, I guess that means we're on the clock. Uh, you can feel free to time this. The final result is going to be three minutes. That's the length of the slideshow. Let's see if we can make it faster than that. Okay, so we're going to have to start with a new project. So there's Final Cut Pro, new library. I'm going to call this library Slideshow. Okay, I'm going to change the name of this event to uh, Photos. And we're going to need another event here called Music. And we're going to need another one as well called Edits. That's just how I organize my libraries. You might do it a different way, but this is a great way to do it. Photos, let's go and have a look. Uh, if you're a photographer, you've probably got a bunch of photos to show off. These ones are from Catchlight Pictures, part of her Day in the Life series. Uh, and they're just magnificent. They're candid, they're fresh, they're funny, um, and we're gonna make them all look great and put them to music, okay? So um, uh, let's start by taking all of those photographs, um, picking them up and just dragging them straight into Final Cut. Pro, excellent. It thought about it for a second to drag them in. It also imported the media. You can see it's doing that in the background. In the meantime, let's pick up the music and put it in the music folder. Uh, you can see that that's already there. And now edits, we're going to create a new edit. I'm just gonna call it edit one. Cool. Okay, now let's get ourselves back to the photos. We're gonna select one, command A, and then hit the letter E to edit. It's gonna ask me, what's the format? 1920 by 1080, yes, but I'm gonna change this to 25p because we're in Australia. Excellent. That looks pretty good to me, except it goes for 10 minutes. That's a bit too long. If we have a look at our music, and we uh, take this playhead and paste it into the front there. Oops, missed that. Um, you can see the music comes up way too short. So let's change the length of this. Control D for duration to three seconds per photograph. Fantastic. Okay, um, actually, you know what? That'd be a nice way to start it. Let's move that to the front and then move the music accordingly. So far, so good. Let's get that animation happening. I'm going to select the first clip and I'm going to go up and press the crop tool, Ken Burns, and you can see it's going to go from the green square to the red square. That means it's going to move out. I want it to move in. So let's change that and then I'm going to press done. Let's have a look. That's pretty good, but I want it to happen to the whole of uh, the timeline, each clip separately. So I'm going to select them all, shift command V to paste attributes and you can see crop is selected, paste. And sure enough, everything else is zooming in. We're getting there, but wouldn't it be nice to have a transition between each one? I agree. Okay, we're gonna select everything, and as long as it is, as it is selected, we can do double click a transition, and you can see it applies to all the edits. How cool is that? Now we get this. Okay, now you might want to get in there and uh, adjust the framing of some of these things, the start and the end point, especially if you're dealing with uh, a non-landscape, a portrait, portrait photograph, because of course a 16 by 9 canvas, that's landscape. If you've got a portrait shot in there, you're going to have to zoom into it, otherwise you're going to get black bars either side. But apart from that, frankly, I think we're done. Let's export this. Uh, we'll go export file, we'll select settings, web hosting, uh, better quality, 1920 by 1080, and I'm just going to throw that onto the desktop. Wonderful, press save. Now, I think we've come in under the three minutes there, and if that's the case, then the title of this has not lied. Um, go ahead, give it a go. Um, throw your photographs uh, into the timeline, have a bit of a play around with it, um, and uh, let, me ha let me know how you go in the comments. If you've got any questions, I'm more than happy to answer them. Uh, you can contact me on Twitter, at uh, FCP Talent. Um, also, be sure to go and check out those photos from Dana Patterson at catchlightpictures.com. Those, those day in the life shoots are really, really beautiful. Um, okay, thanks very much for watching and for your time, and uh, I look forward to making another one of these tutorials for you next time. Be sure to subscribe. Cheers.